This is an iPhone 6 and here's the easy way to charge it at home or in the car. This is the put to go car mount with wireless charging system. And this was sent to me by the company that manufactures these. It's part of a Kickstarter program. So if you want to help support my channel, please use the link down in the video description or click on the little card up here. You can get more information about them. They're also on the web at puttogo.com. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Vimeo, all with the forward slash put to go. Now, the reason I'm really interested in this product is that I have been messing around with these wireless Qi inductive charging products forever. And a lot of the lower end ones are just not very good, unfortunately. And even the OEM stuff, I've had some issues with and kind of work that out. But here's what's great about this product. This is made to go inside of the car. So you don't have to be sitting on a charging mat. This is totally mobile. And of course it does come with a power supply. So you're just gonna use a micro USB here and plug the other end into the USB output in your car. Now, if you don't have a USB output, you can use a power supply or cigarette lighter adapter plug one of these in to get your power, and then we're just gonna connect the whole system like this. And the mount itself goes onto your vent on your air conditioning or heater. So just to kind of simulate how this works, I've got this little metal bar, and what we would do is just open this up, put it on the vent, and then you have a nice sturdy connection. This is made with rare earth magnets that are pretty strong. So I'm taking my uh, converted iPhone, five here and you can see that it actually holds even without anything special attached to it now of course the question is how are we going to wirelessly charge an iphone because of course apple does not yet include that technology in their products well that is where these two little deals come in and they've included one for each type there's one for the iphone there's also one for any other phone basically that uses a micro usb port so what we are going to do is open this up and on the inside we have this wireless charging receiver which is going to attach to the bottom of the phone and then of course at that point what we need to do is figure out a way to keep it up against the phone now the receiver has either some iron maybe nickel or cobalt inside of it or something because it really sticks to the charger so let's go ahead and take a look at exactly how this is going to work now for the iPhone, of course, I wanted to test this because I've got one of these life proof style cases. And of course, I'm a little skeptical about whether or not the charging will go through here, but let's check it out. So very simple installation, plug this into the bottom, the flap goes around the back side of the phone and then just put it into the case as you normally would. And one thing that always annoyed me about this case is that you have to open up the bottom and of course, Non-OEM lightning connectors don't really fit through this hole in the bottom, so you pretty much end up taking the phone out of the case in order to charge it. So with this, assuming everything works as planned, what we're going to do is seal this up. And as you can see, it's going to cover the bottom end here. And hopefully we don't have to open up the phone ever again to charge it. Now you'll probably want to get a charging mat to use at home so that you don't have to unplug this adapter every time you go from the car to the house, but the Kickstarter page does show a new magnetic style adapter that might solve that problem altogether. Okay, so once we've got this plugged in, we would get into the car or the desktop because they do make a desktop adapter for this and you just set the phone right on top of it like so. And as you can see, it starts charging. So you literally get into the car, set the phone down, it starts charging. It's got a nice secure hold here because of the magnet. And when you're ready to go, you just remove it and get out of the car. So I'm going to try this charger with the iPhone 6. And question I always have is what kind of case this is going to work with. So we're gonna to have to use something that's not too thick. Uh, I think that in an OtterBox or anything that's cushioned on the back is gonna be a problem. And just in case anybody's ever wondering why all of my product reviews are always positive, that's because I don't, <laughs> I don't put the ones that fail on my channel. I don't really see a point to that. But here's a case that you should never buy. This is a glow-in-the-dark case that I found on AliExpress 
And the first time you take it off the phone, this little thing separates and it never goes back together. But it should technically let us see whether or not this is going to work. Unfortunately, here's the reason, another reason that you'd probably never use this case, besides the fact that it'll never go on properly again. And that is because it's going to be clear on the back. Jeez, I don't even know if this thing is going to be able to go on the phone. Okay, so this case, being clear on the back, it's not really that attractive to be looking at this wireless charger interface. And if you are the type of person who wants everyone to see your Apple, you are not going to be able to see it with this charger in place. I suppose we could probably scoot that down a little bit. Okay, if you really wanted to, you could crimp this cable down here at the bottom and it would let the Apple show and it would still work. I'm not sure if the manufacturer recommends that, but, you know, it's up to you. Um, although that's going to make this thing... It could cause a problem for this wire down here at the bottom. So I'm going to suggest that you don't move this around. Just kind of keep it the way it is. And yeah, it is going to cover up the Apple. So you probably want to get something that's not transparent like this. But the big question is, once we stick this on here, and you can see it is definitely charging. We've got the little lightning bolt up here at the top. And it really holds the phone well. Because there's not much between the magnet and the receiver, which is very very strong so I'm gonna take this case off though because like I said I wouldn't recommend it this is gonna go straight in the trash it's the case you never want to buy I don't even know what brand it is but talk about horrible construction uh, this Pitaka case that I got recently and reviewed in another video should do the trick now this is made out of a special material so hopefully that will not inhibit the charging in any way I'm gonna make sure this thing is going to fit properly I'm gonna make sure that is kind of straight like so and this should pop right into place just like that and there you go so now you stick it on and it charges so this is what you need something that's kind of slim so let's try this on the galaxy and concept is the same just plug this in down here at the bottom and it's hard to see what I'm doing here. So plug this into the bottom. This is going to go up against the back. So of course we're going to need some sort of case on the outside. But once you have the case on the phone, you should be able to set it right up against your magnet. Just like that. And you can hear that and see that it started charging. Now this particular case that I have, I am skeptical about because it's never worked before with the built-in wireless and I thought that I might be able to fix that by adding this on. Uh, the only question of course is whether the case is going to make it too thick because this is the one I have with the kickstand on the back. So I'm just going to put the rubber piece on the back for the moment and see. Okay so it is charging like that so we can definitely get through this plastic no problem. And the final test, of course, is going to be adding this extra thickness to it and see if we can still, and the magnet still holds it, although it's not that strong. I definitely wouldn't drive around in my car like this, and unfortunately, it does not seem to be able to transmit through this hard plastic, so we would have to get a different type of case. What I like about this charger is it's so easy to install. All you have to do is open this piece up here, clamp it onto your vent, and you're ready to go as long as you've got your micro USB attached. It rotates a full 360 degrees, so you can spin this thing around as much as you want for the most part. And it also has a swivel on the inside, so you can angle this however you like it, towards the driver, towards the passenger, up, down, etc. if you want to get rid of some glare from the sun. It's pretty easy to operate. All you have to do is set your phone right on top of it. The one drawback, if there's any, is that you have to make sure that you're setting it in the right spot. So with all of these wireless charging systems, if they're not lined up properly, they won't charge. So you do want to confirm that it's charging. If you get way off, like you can see I'm quite a ways from the center of the phone, it's not going to charge. But as long as you know where you need to set it in order to charge it, You'll notice that after you set it down, the charging indicator comes on and you just grab the phone and go, literally, when you're ready to get out of the car. And as you may have noticed, not only does it work with my existing Qi charger case for my Nokia phone, it also sticks to the magnet.
If you found the video helpful, like it, share it, check out my channel for more tutorials and product reviews, and most of all, remember to hit the subscribe button. Feel free to leave your feedback in the comments section, and thanks for watching.